and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Haley, and you're watching Between the Pages. So I have a couple of book reviews for you um, today. So the first one is Poorly, Poorly Wired Circuit by Kate Page. This is another uh, Pedro Pascal fan fiction in the vein of Control and Forget Me Not, which I have reviewed both on my channel. This one is based on uh, We Can Be Heroes, the sort of sequel to uh, Shark Boy and Lava Girl that is on Netflix. And uh, Pedro Pascal uh, stars as like the main like hero and his daughter. And it's kind of just focused on them two and their story and everything. So this is based on We Can Be Heroes. Um, I remember reading the fan fiction when it first came out on Tumblr and I loved it. Um, unfortunately, that is not the same experience that I had with this book. So now I'm going to explain it to you. So Poorly Wired Circuit is um, about two people named Alejandro Alvarez and he's the leader of the heroes. Um, and he has the power to control a, uh, metal and electricity. And so he's having a really bad day. And, uh, the day before was the anniversary of his late wife's death. And he's having a hard day. And he kind of, um, destroys his office and everything in his office. So all of his technology and everything. And Sarah Bailey, who's the I one of the IT people gets sent up to his office and she, you know, meet cute shenanigans ensue. Now, like I said, this used to be a fan fiction on Tumblr and I remember loving it so much. I would like literally go back and read it. Whereas this, I don't think I'd go back and read it. I don't know why. But there's something about how, like, I loved Control when I read it as a fan fiction, loved it as a book. Loved Forget Me Not when I read it as a fan fiction, loved the book. This one, I didn't have the same experience. I flew through Control and flew through Forget Me Not once I actually started, actually sat down and started reading it. I flew through those. This took me like a whole week and a half to finish. It's not even that big. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I was not engaged with the story and I felt really bad because I really liked it when she po originally posted it. And I don't know if it was because a lot of things had been changed and certain moments had been flushed out. And I just, I don't know. Because it feels like when you read a fan fiction, they go from like zero to 60 and like couple thousand words. Obviously you can't do that in a book. <laughs> but this was, I guess maybe I don't like slow burns. I liked control, but even like control, I think in the first 60 pages they had sex for the first time. Whereas this one, it was like, I think it was like 100, 150 pages, like nearly halfway through the book. And that's cool if you like slow burns like that. I am not. I want, I want it now. <laughs> and like they had really great, great chemistry, you know, like I understand Alejandro's hang-ups when it comes to relationships and getting involved with a non-powered person since his wife was non-powered and she died in a car accident and he has a lot of issues regarding that how he's like I am pow I'm super powered and I can't protect I can't protect my the women I my woman I love I can't protect my daughter and everything everything like that so I get it I understand his trauma I understand but I just did not like it. I didn't like how slow it was. And there was this one thing. I've I've watched We Can Be Heroes because Pedro Pascal didn't really care much for the rest of the movie. But his scenes, I liked them. Um, I liked Missy as a character. And this, I think her name's like Allie or something. Something like that. Or Abby. I'm not sure. It starts with an A. I know that much. And... I've seen it. So when things started going down, they went down like in the TV show. I was like, ooh, this hasn't been changed. And I was like, I don't know how she's managing to not get sued by Netflix. <laughs> I mean, she could just say, you know, it's inspired by, but like, I feel like it skirts a little bit too close to 
the movie and there's actually lines in there that I recognize from the film and I'm like I don't know how this is allowed but then forget me not is based on prospect but she changed a lot for that like it basically had nothing to do with prospect besides the fact that it was inspired by it but this was like I don't want to say it was like a straight up ripoff but I just feel like there were lines that were crossed that should not have been crossed because it's fan fiction, published fan fiction, but it's still fan fiction. And so I wasn't sure how to feel about that. Maybe that's why I didn't enjoy it that much because I was like, I know what's going to happen. I mean, she did change the ending a little bit, but it was still very, 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 very skirting that line of copyright infringement. And so, because you know it's fan fiction, you can't make money off fan fiction uh, unless you want to be sued. So, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not going to be the one to report her to Netflix. And if Netflix sees this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I doubt that. I am nobody compared to some other bigger booktubers. But yeah, it skirts that line of being copyright infringement and it just bothers me. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm a business major and I had to take business law. So like I understand a little bit about copyright and copyright law and stuff like that. So I don't know. So that was my incredibly rambly, probably not that coherent uh, review of Poorly Wired Circuit by Kate Page. And I will see you guys later. Bye.